definitely could have, you know, been better. Will this bother me for the rest of my life? Hi, my name's Meg Batoon and we're doing a clothes thing today. Also, the particularities gonna kill me one day. But we're here now, so let's proceed. This video goes out to all the people that hate their closets. If that's you, let me get a hey -o! Actually, I feel like if you hated it, you would be more like, Ugh. This video goes out to all the people that hate their closets. If that's you, let me get a Here's the thing. I feel like this happens to me and my friends all the time where we buy a lot of clothes and then all of a sudden we hate everything we own. Like every six months, cyclically, we're like, this is the worst thing we've ever seen. And then you go on Pinterest and you see all these people wearing the best stuff and you want it and then you spend all your money and then it's just like, at some point we gotta stop. Here's the silver lining of it all. You don't need new clothes. You don't need a shopping trip. You don't need a stylist. You need your explore page. I pulled out a bunch of basics from my closet and I'm going to recreate stuff I found on my explore page that I've saved just to show you that you probably already have stuff to make new outfits that you've never worn before. I'm gonna do seven outfits for seven days of the week and maybe I'll even get crazy and do like a day and a night version to show you that you really don't need new clothes and how you can make an outfit a two for one by just changing the accessories so it's going from day to night then you get two outfits out of one. You know what a two for one is. Let's go. What if I just like walked out the door? <laughs> okay, the first one we'll start with a classic. This is a white t-shirt. kind of looks like a muscle tee in some light denim oversized jeans. Let's see what we can do. Let's go with the daytime look first. We have our light denim. These are from Urban Out. <sighs> I don't know where they're from. Everything that I'm wearing, I will put in the description box because at the time of recording, I know nothing. Okay, this is what we're working with. If I have a bigger shirt to tuck in, I usually tuck in the front to where it actually lays. And on the back, I cinch it a little bit so that all of the excess, I don't look at. I don't know how people feel behind me. Oh, not bad. Checking myself out. She's layered some necklaces. It's like a chainy bracelet, which I don't have, but I do have a very similar necklace. So she has a muscle tee, and I feel like we could just do the same thing with this by rolling up the sleeves. I'm gonna tuck the inside underneath my bra so that it holds the sleeve up, and I don't have to worry about it coming. Down. Did I just figure something out? Like, very helpful? Is that a hack already? Shut up! Shut up! Stop talking! That's so simple! What the heck? She's layered two necklaces. I've already got one on, so I'm just gonna pop a secondary one on. This is that necklace I was talking about, so I'm gonna wrap it around my wrist and maybe make a bracelet out of it. Throwing on a pair of these statement glasses. I mean, this is kind of that look. Is it not? Is this not the look? It looks like the look. This looks intentional, and I've never worn this before. Wow. Day look, I'm just going Air Force Ones. I'm like blowing my own mind. I wish I made this video for myself a long time ago. What up, it's daytime. Ugh, so much to do. Nighttime, time to chill, time to get sexy. Leather jacket, and then these high chunky heels. I'm tucking the bottoms in just a little bit to give it a little bit of a shape since these are oversized jeans. Look at that. Uh, uh. And if you hate these because I can't decide if I do or not, you can take them out. Oh, night! You need to carry things at night. If I went to parties, I would wear this. One outfit in the bag, I would say. This next outfit is a black tiny tank top and some denim with Air Force Ones. It also looks like she has a fanny pack and a watch and some chunky hoop earrings. We have a teeny black top and too many necklaces. This is from And Other Stories. They are rigid jeans, so they really suck you in. Oh, it's been a while since I've been in these ones. <laughs> We're in. Oh, oh God. And then I got these really chunky hoops from an Australian company called Style Addict, but the issue is they're really heavy. So I can't really wear them for that long. <laughs> Once again, our Air Force Ones. I feel like we're gonna be wearing a lot of Air Force Ones. Oh shoot, I messed up. This is the night look. Hang on, pretend like you didn't see this. I found two pictures on the internet that are very similar. There's this one with a bucket hat and there's this one with a tinier top. The first one is like a sports bra vibe. So this is the closest thing that I had to a sports bra that's not actually a sports bra. And she's wearing a bucket hat and Air Force Ones. Too easy! Day outfit. Yes, here we are. Okay. Is it hard to see? Not because the bucket hat is obstructing my view. It's just like, how far are you away? It would look better if my hair was down, but you get it. Okay, we're back. Now it's the night outfit. I mean, you never saw anything different. Instead of the Air Force Ones, I'm gonna change them into some strappy heels. Woo! 
This is already way sexier. Just to dress it a little bit down because you are wearing heels, I would just throw an oversized denim on and have it come off the shoulder like that because now you're not trying so hard. Oh, it's like, oops, I just accidentally got dressed. It all just fell on me and now I'm here. Oh, this is interesting. I've never worn this before. This girl's wearing a, it's almost like a racer front. You know how racer backs are skinnier in the back? This tank top is pretty trendy right now and it's kind of thinner in the front. So we have a white tank top on top, some tan flowy kind of business casual pants, and then we have a clutch. Let's see what we have. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so I found a shirt that's very similar on top, but it's not a crop. What I do sometimes is I just fold it up the bottom hits my bra line. And that's how I wear a lot of my shirts without sewing them. Done! I bought these pants like three years ago from Zara and I've never worn them because they were too business casual, but now's the time. This looks like that outfit. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna dress this down because this is gonna be for daytime. So once again, I'm putting on the Air Force Ones. These shoes just go with everything. I love the idea of dressing it down with street shoes because I was always too afraid to wear these in public because they were too nice. Like I don't have a deal to close, I have groceries to get. And this is now our daytime look. My hair is completely falling out. Honestly, I feel this. I am feeling this. Of the things I'm feeling, this is one of them. You know what? I know I said I would change from day to night wearing the same thing, but I really wanna change this shirt. I'm gonna keep it white, but just to show, how something can go from pretty modest to pretty sexy. This could really be the daytime look too, but we're gonna call it nighttime, so I'm gonna pop these off. I'm throwing on these Nasty Gal kitten heels. They're low, so you can still walk around, but they're cute enough to make it look like you tried. <laughs> That's what this is all about. It's not actually trying. It's about looking like you tried. Always put a hoop in. When in doubt, hoop it out. When in doubt of yourself, when in doubt of what the future holds, when in doubt of what you should wear, it's always gold hoops. That's always the answer. Just know that like as the video goes on, my hair will look worse. <laughs> That's just what life is. There. The night look. It's hard to tell if it's the most or not. I think I should get my eyes checked. I can't really see anything. Come on, get in here. Get in or out. Your choice, my friend. Okay, out it is. Okay, in it is. You know how they say pets are just like their owners? Just like a household of indecisiveness. But it's a happy home. Outfit number four, this is an oversized white button down tucked into some black clothes. Honestly, I'm gonna put these ears on again for nighttime, so I don't even know why I'm taking them off. Never worn these before, look at that. <laughs> Putting pants on is cardio. Wow, love these, whoa. I'm doing the one on the left. So this is how it looks with the satin, which I think is a really good look. These being satin really fancy it up. If you don't wanna be so fancy and wanna be a little bit more casual, I do have similarly cut stretchy denim culottes. I think they're called culottes. If they're not, I'm not apologizing. Oh, I love this way better than those satin ones. Why haven't I worn any of this stuff? I'm almost getting mad at myself, but I can't because I'm helping myself right now. Oh my God, if I wore this to the grocery store, I would get so much respect. I'm loving this. Daytime, bah. Nighttime, now let's put on the satin ones and fancy that up. I could put those mules on, but I actually have those Nasty Gal shoes in black. I get a black and white version of everything that I own. Everything from jeans to t-shirts to soap dishes to candle holders. Anything that I like, I get it in two colors because one of them is gonna break and I know it and I'm gonna be mad about it. So me looking out for future me, get two colors. You can't celebrate the sun going down without chunky gold hoops. We all know that. Oh, nighttime. Nighttime, we have a funky bag. I usually don't love pearls, but this is a nice little bag because it's got pearls and studs. It looks as edgy as it does classy. Oh my God, we are ready for something at night. Who's to say? This next one is essentially just a workout set with an oversized shirt over top of it. This black tank top, I absolutely adore. <laughs> what movie is that from? It Takes Two? Yes. Love a good MKA reference 20 years later. Any oversized shirt. I'm gonna put the same one that I just had on so you can see how versatile stuff could be that you might already have. Boom! An outfit. Oh my God, it couldn't be more simple. If you wanted to get full circle with it, you could throw on this little hat. LOL, the tag's still being on this. Just imagine my hair down and cute. 
If we really wanted to get street style with it, we can add a fanny pack. I can't like take myself seriously in a bucket hat. <laughs> wow, earrings must be nighttime. I'm just removing this, putting on a blazer, still keeping the white theme, and then back in these slinky shoes. Where's our party bag? Where is our party bag? Where's our party bag? I've located the party bag. I'm wearing a workout outfit to a party that I was probably not invited to. Sixth outfit is also double black, my favorite combo. She's wearing a black t-shirt and some really oversized black slacky trousers. Let's go. I'm like gaining confidence through this video. How fun is that? Okay, I'm too lazy to take my shirt off, so I'm just gonna double up. This is another one of those cap sleeve situations, so let's try our hack. Oh, I'm not wearing a bra. This is the first time that that's failed me. I'm just pulling it from all directions, from the inside, so that it's even. I'm gathering it from the front, doing like a half twist, and then I'm gonna push it underneath my bra. I'm like baffled at how this is working. But it's working, so I'm not gonna complain. This is our daytime look. Oh my God, I love it. The Converse are nice because they're vintage and sporty, and it's nice that they're white because it gives a little pop of color. I enjoy this. I will be wearing this outfit. Nighttime for this one, you really could just throw a leather jacket on this. This could easily be the nighttime look. So simple. Throwing on the Steve Madden mules. I'll show you two ways to do this. So this would be the nighttime look. I think it's very chic. But if you wanted to make it a little bit more sexy and not wear a t-shirt, we can revisit. It's so small that I can't even find it anymore. Ha! Not only did we find it, we're also wearing it. This makes it sexier with the tiny little straps and then I would still layer on that jacket. And then your nighttime look. Oh, the bag. You always need to hold things when you're out on the town. Somebody else can hold your stuff. I don't have a bag. I love this outfit. The last outfit is something that I would want to wear all the time around my house, but I just don't wear denim if I'm not going anywhere. It's just a simple plain white tee with these cream boot cut jeans. I don't have the boot cut jeans, but let me figure out a way to replicate this style without having exactly what they have. This is probably gonna happen more times than not, is you see something you really like and you don't know how to recreate it. What you can take from this is the fit of it, the color combo, or just the general vibe. I like that her outfit is really light from top to bottom. So I have a washed gray top from Zara and then some white, wide leg capris. I'm gonna call them capris this time because I don't know if it's called culotte. In the photo, she's wearing black slides. I do have those, but I would wanna keep it lighter personally. But for the purpose of this video, we are recreating those looks. If I wanted to keep it lighter, these are a purchase I got when I was in Bali. Lost my phone, but got some sandals. Kind of an even trade, I would say. We have our daytime look. This honestly would be pretty good with the Converse as well, yes. We're here. Boom, nighttime. For the shirt, it's still very daytime. So I'm gonna try and do that same thing I did with the other shirt. Oh, how many shirts am I wearing? I'm like a freaking sartorial babushka doll. I'm gonna do the same twist and under. Don't be mad at me for this. I'm gonna pull a tighter leather jacket out just to give it some structure. The other two, one of them is cropped, one of them is oversized, and this is a tight fit one. I got this off of like Instagram or something. It's a snakeskin structured body bag. Body bag? Oh my God, no one's dead. It's a cross body bag. I mean, I think we did it. I feel good about it. I mean, I just didn't know that I had all of this stuff in my closet. I literally feel like I love my clothes again. This is so important. I think this is such a good exercise to do if you really feel like you want to restart your entire closet. You actually don't have to. Pin the stuff you like, look at your explore page, save it to your phone, and then figure out a way to make it work for you with what you have. Your goal style is attainable and you probably have something already in your closet that is that. We did it! I think we like actually did something today.